Your GCSE biology exam is tomorrow, so I'm here to give you some tips to do the best that you possibly can do in that exam. So let's get straight into it. My first tip is to not be thrown off by the application questions. Everything on the paper is stuff that you've gone over before, so don't let the fact that it may be asking about something you've never seen before throw you off. For example, in my GCSE paper last year, they asked about testing for steroids in blood samples, and although we'd never done such a thing before, I knew it was based on things we learned in the homeostasis topic. My second tip is to not forget your calculator. I said this in last year's last minutes, and I'm saying it again, because so many people still forgot their calculators. Of course, they'll still have spares in the exam hall, but that's not guaranteed and they may run out. So because biology is 10% maths, please, you don't want to be spending time doing questions manually. Don't forget your calculator, bring it into the exam. My third tip is to go over key definitions before the exam. You may be watching this either the day before or the morning of your exam. And if you are, then try to go over some key terms and their definitions, as those are often the questions for one, two, or even three markers. For example, for osmosis, diffusion, and active transport, they'll ask you for their definitions. My fourth tip is to bullet point your six markers. I'm gonna end up saying this for every science, but bullet pointing your six markers is both a time saver and it helps you gain marks more easily. You don't have to write a massive paragraph. Bullet pointing will allow you to space out your points in a way that is clear to your examiner, so if you're saying the right things, you'll get marks more easily and it will make sense. Fifth tip is that villi and alveoli might as well be the same thing. If you remember the features of one of them, then you'll remember the features of the other because they're quite similar. They both have a good blood supply. They both have thin walls. They have large surface areas. If you get a question in the exam asking you to describe the features of one and for some reason you can't remember, remember the features of the other and remember that they're practically the same thing. Obviously this is the last result though because not every single one of their features are the same, but most of them are. So that's my fifth tip. My sixth tip is to remember that aerobic means air, which means oxygen. So aerobic means oxygen is involved and anaerobic means no air and therefore means no oxygen. So anaerobic means no oxygen is involved and just make sure to remember that for your exam because a lot of people for some reason forget that. Those are all my tips for GCSE Biology. Good luck. You guys are probably going to do great and I'll see you in the next last minute tips video. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment how exam season is going so far. Goodbye.